Man, so I just ran the Madeira mile. I've been training. I've been I've had a drought of not breaking the five minute mile for three years. I just broke the five minute mile. I ran a 4:48 today in the Madeira mile. I think I got somewhere around 10th, 11th, 12th, or whatever. But I'm just I just can't tell you how excited I am that, to know that I could still break a five minute mile. 32 years old. I got a daughter. I got a wife. It's the Fourth of July weekend. I just, I, I'm just so pumped up about life, man. Uh, breaking the five minute mile, and you know, it's just one of those things where the whole time you're running, and for four minutes and 48 seconds, there's a little voice inside my head that just says, just back off a little, man. And you just refuse to listen to that voice the whole time. You just focus and you just press on. And uh, God, it just felt so great. The, it hurt the entire time. And it felt so good to cross that finish line and know that I didn't listen to that voice the entire run. I ignored that voice the entire way. And uh, that's just one of the great things about loving, about running. Great thing is about life. You know, you, you run so hard through life and you just refuse, and if you focus, and you just, if you just refuse to listen to that little voice that tells you to back off the pedal and you just keep going forward, man, you have a moment like this where you're just like, man, it just feels great to be alive and I'd rather just push it and enjoy a moment like this than run a mediocre race or have a mediocre life and then and just not do as well. So anyway, I'm just pumped up. This is just a two minute rant. Uh, or uh, just life pump up, t you know, video. I don't even know what you want to call it, but I'm just pumped, man. Just pumped. Happy birthday, America. And all you fine young Americans out there that are running, keep running. Man, this is awesome.